In this video, I'd like to talk to you about ownership. Ownership can be a really difficult topic for MSFers, not least because it's very, very far outside of our normal remit of operation. We tend not to think about who owns the product of our, of our labour. We're much more concerned with having an impact in the field, which totally makes sense. However, if you're in an innovation project, this could be a really important discussion to be having with a potential partner. You should be having this conversation before you begin a partnership with an organisation or other entity. But even if you're not, you have to make sure that the details of ownership are nailed down. And that's for a number of reasons. One reason could be that if you don't think about ownership, the partner that you're working with could end up owning the outcome of the project. And in some cases, that could be fine. That could be a mutually beneficial situation where the partner puts in more time or money towards producing an outcome. And MSF gets to sit back and say, OK, we're good with that. But you know, you're going to own the product. So if you do have that as a situation, maybe you want to think about what is an acceptable cost that MSF would be willing to pay. You also might want to think, what if another organization outside of MSF wants to buy this? Is it at a price they can afford? MSF's budgets tend to be larger, maybe than most sort of Ministry of Health budgets. And with that in mind, what you want to consider is, OK, are we happy for this just to be released within MSF? Is that a big enough impact for us? On many occasions, if you're working in partnership with another organization, you'll also want to be making sure that you count the hours and the resources that MSF puts in. If at the end of a project you can say, OK, MSF it put in 50% of the time in terms of staff hours into this project and the other partner put in 50% of the time, in that case, there's a fairly strong argument to say that MSF should actually own 50% of the outcome. Again, maybe MSF doesn't want to own the outcome. Maybe ownership is not something that we're interested in. But at the very least, knowing that we have that amount of input into the project should mean that we have a stronger negotiating hand when it comes to setting potential requirements on the partner for how the outcome of the project, be that a product or a technology, is distributed and potentially sold outside of MSF as well.